If you want to connect and record this to one of these that has one of these on it, then you're in the right place. In this video, I'll show you how. Hey, it's Patrick from the Garage Band Guide. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect and record your guitar into your USB C equipped iPad. If you have an iPad with a lightning port, then check the link down below to find a video made just for you. All right, the quickest and easiest way to get audio into your iPad is using its built in microphones. All USB C slash Thunderbolt equipped iPad models have microphones somewhere on their bodies. This is what the microphone setup sounds like on this iPad mini, and it sounds pretty good. Whereas the five studio quality mic setup on this iPad Pro should sound noticeably better. Apple is constantly improving their hardware, so the quality of recordings you'll be able to get from your iPad's built in microphones will depend on the model you have. When you're ready to record, it's as simple as throwing your iPad in front of your acoustic guitar or in front of an amplifier and pressing record. As good as the mics are on these newer iPad models, bear in mind that you're not going to have a full range of frequencies to work with when you come to mix your built in microphone recorded guitars. Having said that, the microphone arrays on these new models are pretty good and you should see some fairly decent results using them. If you want to keep things portable, companies like IK Multimedia and Apogee have a good range of Wii devices on offer. Apogee's Jam Plus and IK Multimedia's iRig HD2 give you 24 bit 96 kHz recording quality and are no bigger than a chocolate biscuit. If you want more input options, something like this iRig Pro IO is a great choice, as it has a combination XLR jack on the bottom. This allows you to hook up an XLR microphone and record real audio, as well as directly connecting your guitar to it. All of these devices I've mentioned come with a range of connections in the box, including USB-C, so you can plug them directly into your USB-C equipped iPad, no dongle required. Finally, you can grab yourself a fully fledged audio interface, hook it up to your iPad and record your guitars that way. With an audio interface, you're able to capture great quality sounds into your iPad, as well as, depending on the model, give yourself more audio recording options. This Motu M2 audio interface goes for around £180 or just over $200 and provides amazingly high quality recordings with practically zero latency. What's more, its USB-C to USB-C connection means you can plug it straight into your iPad and you're off to the races. If you'd rather spend a little less, this M Audio M Track Solo costs around £35 or $50, has both an instrument and XLR combo input, and sounds really good for the price. The issue with using this interface and really any piece of kit that still uses a USB-A connection is connectivity. You're going to need an adapter. The good news is that because you have an iPad with a USB-C port, you're no longer shackled to Apple's dreadfully overpriced selection of dongles. Pretty much any USB-C adapter or hub will work with your iPad. Personally, I like this one by Ugreen. It sits flush against the edge of my iPad. 
has a 100 watt 5 gigabits per second USB C port, two 5 gigabits per second USB 3.0 ports, a 4K 60 Hz capable HDMI port, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone port. Remember those? To set up a USB A audio interface with your iPad and adapter, it's just a case of plugging in the hub, then attaching the interface via one of the USB A ports, and that's it, you're good to go. Another advantage that iPads with USB C ports have over iPads with a Lightning port is that you don't need any extra power to use an audio interface's 48 volt phantom power function. So if you plan to record your acoustic guitar or amped up electric guitar with an attached microphone, you don't need to worry about plugging anything into the mains. With all that said, the sound quality you're able to get from an audio interface is definitely worth the extra bit of setup. Now that you know how to hook up your guitar, watch this video next to find out what guitar apps you should be using.